Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Tuesday and I have your word for the day. Yesterday, Pastor Chad kicked us off in our word for the day as we travel through the journey to freedom through the book of Exodus as we follow the Israelites in their trek out of Egypt and into the promised land. For Christmas this year, my mother-in-law gave me an ancestry DNA kit. Soon I'm going to learn more about my ancestors what I'll be able to do with that knowledge is going to be amazing. Think about it. I'll be able, well, well I'll be able to, well, I, I guess there really isn't much I can do about that information or with that information. It's really not very useful, but it is going to be interesting stuff to look at. In contrast, the nation of Israel knew their ancestry. While they were in bondage in Egypt, Jacob brought his sons there to live along with Joseph. All of his sons lived in Egypt there with Jacob. In time, Joseph and his brothers died off, but they left their children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren and the descendants of Jacob, the scripture tells us in Exodus 1-7, multiplied in such a way that the Israelites became extremely powerful and filled the land. Now, as we think about our future descendants, we, we can't do much about our past, but you and I can influence our descendants. If we follow God, if we invest in our children and our grandchildren, if we talk about God's word and we pass along our faith, perhaps our descendants will be mighty and powerful. Not mighty and powerful in a physical way, but in a spiritual way. Perhaps you and I can raise up warriors for Jesus who are filled with the Holy Spirit, they have courage, and they walk by faith. See, the Israelite people were known as a people who often wavered in their faith. But maybe you and I can help our descendants that we may never ever meet have faith in Jesus because of our trust in God today. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, apply it, and leave a comment. God bless.